Hello Newcastle fans TV and for the second time in 2019 Newcastle have beaten their transfer record. Joe Linton is the man who has been announced to have been signed. It's a striker who we needed so much considering the departures, well Rondon yeah. isn't, uh, is, and Perez, right, Perez has left, Rondon isn't coming back. And Jocelyn's not coming back. Jocelyn. Jocelyn left as well. Yeah, so we are very short on number of strikers. Joe Linton is the man from TSG Hoffenheim. So Kyle, what do you make of it? You know, b before we go on to you know Joe Linton's uh, attributes, if you like. Yeah, uh, bef I mean, in a summer that's been a, a whirlwind from takeover to fake over, Rafa leaving to players leaving to uh, just anguish with a boycott and everything, protests. It's it's a nice positive to have for the break with transfer record. Don't get us wrong, I'm under no illusion. Like we need a lot more than just Joe Linton, but to judge just judge Joe Linton on the signing of the one man that he is, I'd say it's a really good signing. It's uh, it's pushing the boat. If you like, many people thought it was an initial um, replacement of Rondon, but more as you look at him more and more, you can play off the strike and play just behind the striker. Could be a bit more of a replacement for Perez. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the signing. And Paul, what do you make of the price tag that we put on him in the region of 36 million pounds? That is pretty much Miguel Almiron and Michael Owen combined. Uh, our two most expensive buys before Joe Linton, of course. Well, I'll take it from my... Obviously, I'm self-employed, I've got my own business, and it, the rule of it is to speculate and to make money off it, you've got to put the money in, and that's all they're doing. They're reinvesting the money that they got off Perez mm -hmm. and uh, Just Loose. It's not really cost Newcastle anything, and what we've got is a player of immense potential uh, that's been compared to the likes of uh, Firmino and, and, and that type. So, uh, huge potential, and th with that potential, if he hits the ground running, will come uh, the inevitable st stepping stone on um, and huge profits for Mike Ashley and Court Newcastle. But, uh, you know, for the here and now, fantastic that we've been able to, to do this. We should be doing this all the time. Everybody else in the Premier League is doing it. Mm. Um, but, yeah, excited to see how he will fit in. Uh, and, like Carl said, I think it's more of an, a, a Jose replacement as opposed to an out and out Rondon, um, yeah. you know, replacement. Yeah, I'll get on to that shortly. And you, you take Roberto Firmino, you'll definitely be familiar with. He came from uh, Hoffenheim. And look at him now, he's come off leaps and bounds since signing for Liverpool. And so, y you think, while Joe Linton being at Hoffenheim, I think striker is probably his main strength. But he's quite versatile and you know, he can play in number 10, he can play on the right as well. A lot of players at Hoffenheim are like that in, in that you know, he's got competition with Andre Kramerich, Ishak Belfadil. And you take Joe Linton, you just think he, he probably needs that little breakaway to another club so he can, you know, be the key man, if you like. Looking at his qualities, Kyle, uh, good in the air, quite pacey. He's pretty much like a... Yeah, complete forward, if you like. So, do you see this as more of a replacement for Rondon or Perez? I see it's before me. I see it as more of a Perez replacement because of where he can play. He can play on the right just or just behind the forward as well as centre forward. So, in terms of his versatility, I think that's great. Um, going forward, obviously, we lack depth in that position. So, he could play both, but personally, I think it'd be for Perez. What I really like, Paul, is that... You take a system, you know, if, if we have a bad run of form and the system isn't quite working, we need a change of system. Joe Linton can easily fit into, you know, a wide, wide, vast array of systems if we never need to change exactly. it at all. So in amongst a match day situation, uh, depending upon where the match is, it, whether we're chasing the game or whether we're in front or whether it's a sort of a you know a tight encounter, we can change him about, and he's quite adept to play in a few positions. That's good. It's even better because we've got such a small squad, uh, you know, certainly in the the striking uh, department. So it is exciting. Um, it is a positive, and uh, I'm pleased that we're talking positively about Newcastle United for a change. And so, it, I presume he will take on the number nine. He, you know, he's in that uh, exclusive club, if you like, of legends. Um, of course, as what do you make of the pressure that he will be under, Kyle? You know, number nine's huge price tag, especially for you know, for a club like Newcastle United. Do you think that you know pressure might toll on? You know, he is a young lad, 22 years of age. Be a lot of pressure. I mean, he's going to be the most expensive player we've ever played. 
played for and not only that the lack of depth that we'll have up front he's going to be one of the few strikers that can actually deliver on being able to score a couple of goals I mean you look at the legs of Dwight Gale the last time he was able to prove himself in the Premier League he scored six goals in what 32 games so he's going to be need he's going to be need to be able to step up to score 10 plus at least for Newcastle next season that's the minimum requirement uh, I, f I feel because we need we, we do lack firepower as it, as it currently stands but Jordan does add to this and uh, maybe he can link up with Almiron, Mutu who we've seen in pre-season, uh, John Joe Shelby so it, it is positive but as I said before we do need a lot more than Jolton to uh, see, see we at least go up the league a little bit and elsewhere in the transfer market we've been linked with you know like freebies with the likes of Andy Cowell and Danny Welbeck who play up front Paul how do you think it will affect their decision in coming back to coming to Newcastle if they decide. Of course, do you think the signing of Joe Linton will? You know, they might want first team football. Might Joe Linton be getting in their way of that? You know. To be honest, though, if, if you're another player coming and you can say Newcastle are splashing the cash, albeit just money that's been reinvested, it's not outside money that's coming in. Uh, it can only be a positive to attract other players to come in. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what this South American connection uh, can get going. The flair, uh, you know, we've had some good players from over there uh, in the past. I'm thinking of Asprias and the likes. So, uh, yeah, let's see how him and Almiron uh, form a partnership. I think it's going to be really, really exciting uh, to see how they, you know, play together. And I think as well, Almiron will score a few goals this season coming up. So I'm excited to see uh, what the future holds for mm -hmm. Newcastle. So we'll wrap up by saying he signed, he is a Newcastle striker, Joe Linton. Very warm welcome to the North East, mate. And thank you for watching Newcastle Fans TV.